Hi, right, it's Hans at thehappierman.com. Today's topic is simple posture tips. Well, I do. I did want to get away from the corona, coronavirus topic a little bit. It's it's on everybody's mind, but you know, I I still think there's a lot of value in doing things to improve your own life, and that we'll we will get through all of this. Uh, uh, pandemic stuff uh, it'll it'll all be a distant memory in a few months and uh, we'll hopefully get back to a halfway decent type of life so getting so you'll want to have good posture right what what simple posture tips usually you, you get some kind of stupid tip like envision a string at the top of your head pulling your spine upward well the reason that's kind of stupid is you you you're, the reason your posture is poor is you have uh, problems with your neck, problems with your back, problem with your eyes. See, and and problems uh, more to do with a habit of all of those things working together against you. If you if you never lift weights and use your back for heavy duty movements like deadlifting, if you don't squat and handle the load from the heavy squatting, if you don't do overhead pressing, if you don't do heavy uh, bent rowing or shrugs or rack pulls or heavy or chins or any of that kind of stuff, your back is going to be very weak and your front of your body is going to pull your back forward for example I knew a fellow back in my uh, in my 20s and he was just huge uh, he had he was very very big belly very big he was a but his back was just let's say incredibly big too his back dwarfed his massive belly and he had like incredible posture even though when on the surface he was a very very overweight fellow uh, so that's what I'm talking about the back the massive power of your back can can overcome the weight of your front now of course it'd be better to be leaner in the belly right obviously but uh, you want to be working your back uh, hard, deadlifting, squatting, overhead pressing, all the standard starting strength stuff. You could work in the shrugs, you can work in the rack pulls, and work in the bent rows, uh, the chins, the pull downs. Uh, that's what I do. Now, of course, we're stuck, we can't go to the gym right now. But when the gyms reopen in a month or two, yeah, you're going to want to get to the gym. Start hitting those back exercises hard, along with your front and your legs and whatever else. But don't neglect your back. I think the bent row is one of the greatest exercises you can do. Uh, I would do it the ath lean X style where you do it off of pins with the bar a little below your knee. And don't that takes the pressure off your low back and it gives you an incredible workout of your of your mid and upper back uh, and then the deadlifts so that giving you that that power in your back so you can pull yourself backward is a good is a very simple posture tip another thing is you got to make sure your your eye got your contacts your eyeglasses are all set up for your uh, however you however you need them you know a lot of people kind of look forward like this because their eyes are poor and they have to see their their screen they have to see their computer they have to read a book they have to read the plans they got to do whatever they do for a living and you're always hunching over because your eyes are not good enough to see at a normal sit-up distance I you know you want those eyes to be critical and now we have uh, the phones are small so you're hunching over to see the phone. The habit should be to bring the phone to your face and look at it up here if you have bad eyes. All right? That will save your neck and your posture. And, uh, yeah, that's, I think that's huge for you. The other thing is when you're habit with your habits, 
when you're sitting around relaxing, always sit back to relax. Don't ever, don't sit frontward to relax, sit back. So when I'm driving, I'm always trying to push myself back. I'm always trying to get that push back, back, back. When I'm sitting in the, when I'm relaxing at home, I'm always trying to lean back into my easy chair, lean back into the couch, always looking to try to get back and, and, and get that good posture. And that helps, it truly helps. And I've done, I've spent hundreds or thousands of dollars on a chiropractor helping my neck. You know, I probably to told you about my neck problems and that it, you might have a bad uh, uh, neck that you need some chiropractic adjustment to kind of get it in the right, in the right uh, orientation, the right flexibility. You should, your neck should be very flexible. You should be able to look from side to side like this. Uh, without any trouble at all. And I used to not be able to do that, but after the chiropractic adjustments, and this has been continual now for a couple of years. My health is worth it, so I'm spending money on my, on my spinal adjustments. You can't be afraid to spend money helping yourself. Uh, those are the big ones for your simple posture chips. The, the weight training of the back, the getting the correct, uh, 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 eyeglasses and contacts and with the contacts too you you might need to have reading glasses so I have contacts for normal far-sighted things and I have to have reading glasses for the nearsighted things so and it's also the mindful being mindful and then trying to trying to always relax relax backwards relax uh, remind yourself to relax with your shoulders down and your back and your back back. That will help you uh, try to learn how to uh, relax and with your shoulders down and your back back. You know, kind of like I'm sitting now way back deep into my seat. Not like this, right? Not hunched over like this. Back, back. Always being mindful of of uh, of getting your 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 head directly over your spine and 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 back. If you're going to overdo something, overdo it to the back, not to the front. The glasses, the those are all good tips for you. That will help you. That will help you look a lot better. You won't have that kind of hunched over head over look. Oh, another thing for your neck, you might want to do some neck specific exercises to build those necks up. Now look this up. What are some what are some good ones? I just do a very modest amount of neck work. You know, I, I find with the back work, but that you want, let's say, a big, thick neck that's got a lot of muscle to kind of help hold your head into place so your head doesn't feel so heavy. Right? You want to so that will help your posture. Now I'm not saying I got the greatest posture in the world, but my posture is much improved and I wouldn't uh, think I wouldn't think about this string idea because that's just kind of a two of a simplistic idea. I think you want to attack this on this forefront uh, idea. You know, the, mul the your, your posture going to heck on you is, is a multi multi problem. It isn't just thinking about a string. The problem is your eyesight. The problem is your lack of back muscle. The problem is you're not mindful. The problem is this poor habits of always leaning forward instead of leaning back. And, you know, part of the reason you don't lean back is you're not relaxed enough and, and confident enough to, to, lean, to, to lean back and to, and to sit back and, and get into that, that confident lean backedness. Uh, so that is that is a hard habit to get out of. We're you know we're meek. You know a lot of men are meek and mild, and you, you know, of course you don't want that. You want to be bold and strong. But work on those other things. It's going to be hard for you to lack confidence if you got a massive back and that you can lift a lot more weights than than most guys around you. Uh, your back is going to look uh, terrific if you got a lot of muscle back there. It's going to feel like a big oak door. So that's 
always the fun. And now I know, yeah, like I said, you can't lift now. The gyms are closed. But when we get back to normal, when things, the gyms open, you're going to have to get back in there and work on yourself. So that's it for now. Get through this together. Although it's it's really not getting it through together. It's kind of social distancing. You know, what, what little socializing people were doing before, it's down the, it's down the toilet. So get used to that. Uh, it's going to take a lot for us to overcome this. But we will. Life will go on. All for now.